Welcome back everybody, Rudy with Alpha Investments. Today we are going to go on the hunt for fetch lands. Wait a minute, Dragons of Tarkir, there's no fetch lands in Dragons of Tarkir. Here we, wait a minute, call the dash, they don't have fetch lands. Ah, Fate Reforged, there it is! There we go, fetch lands, we're coming back. We are going to be on the hunt for the glorious, you remember who he was? Ugin, 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 Ugin. So we are gonna open Fate Reforged. You know how long it's been since we've opened Fate Reforged, everybody? It's been flipping forevers. Okay, well, every again, I think my favorite part of opening Fate Reforged is every time we do it, people go, Rudy, there's no fetch lands in Fate Reforged. Yeah, well, go ask your mother. She can tell you there's fetches. This video is for Maxime. Last name with a G. From Canada, he says, Rudy, I'm on the hunt for that glorious dragon, and we need to find him. For the love of God, let's find us some oogity oogin oogin oogins. Here we go. Man, it's been a long time. This was one of my favorite sets years ago when this thing came out to mass box opening. I did hundreds. I think it was, uh, we did a 360 box run. On this set when it came out for Mass Box Open. We loved it. Absolutely loved doing the box opening for this. Fate Reforged. There it is on the tree. On the tree? No, that tree. We're going to put on that tree. All right. Look at these guys watching us like you're going to get hosed. No, no, no. We're good. We're good. Well, good luck, everybody. Thank you for the support, sir. Thank you for being a very generous, kind Canadian there up there in good old Canada. So, good luck. And uh, hopefully we get uh, two to three fetch lands per box. And we can get you the mythic you want. Starting off with the Dragon Scale General. That is a terrible, terrible rare that used to be worth a little less terrible. That's what we want, but we want the real card. That's what we are going for, everybody. Okay, here we go. Construct uh, Crux. Man, I remember. I forgot about this card when it came out. That sold great. Blood fell. Oh, God, the order is weird. Okay, so that, that. Abzan Advantage. That was a good common. They actually used to sell pretty good back in the day. So that is the key. You are looking for fetch lands, and most of your money is going to be in the infamous big $40, $50 dragon. Not going to lie. The quality of your box, supplement, oh, terrible card, is going to dictate pretty much on the quantity of fetch lands. And if you get, what, what's the other rare? A monetary Swiss, monetary something, the white mythic. And Alicia, who smiles at death. That was never worth a whole lot, I think. I think that was, even a release was like a buck or two. There's never a big old bunch of money was smiling at death. All right, here we go. Ready? Not really any value in the common uncommon slot either, just so you guys know. And the Slumbity Slungar Drifting Death. And we got a foil. A foil. Whoa, look at that foil stamp. Holy smokes. Look at that foil logo. Epic! I forgot about that. Wow. Citadel Siege, foil rare. Actually, not too bad of a foil rare. Not uh, obviously top tier, but not a bad foil rare. Citadel Siege used to be a pretty strong symbol and card for me. It was uh, always a good one. Ah, Dragon Claw. The card was always a buck or two. Never did anything. I love the silver packs in these. These, this, these age of these booster packs, I love them. They had a good feel to them. All right, and Monastery Mentor. We actually got it. Look at that. Second most expensive card. I think this is still 10 15 bucks. Fantastic white mythic there. Absolutely great card. Wow, that is luck. Holy smokes. That is seriously impressive. Archfield never did anything special. So remember, the goal is two fetch lands. And if you can get two of those heavy hitting mythics, you're in pretty good shape. Because these boxes are not super expensive. Drifting Death. Drifting Death. Was that the same one we got it? That was the same one, wasn't it? That was the same rare. Seriously? Why do I not remember so much duplication back in the day? Maybe I didn't pay attention to it like I do today. I don't know. Wild Call. I remember that one. And we got a foil. <laughs> the rats. Good old typhoid rats. All right. Man. Been a long time since we've done these. A long time, everybody. All right. Breakthrough Wandering and... Flame Lake Phoenix. Terrible card. Terrible, terrible card. Hey, what did you guys think of the whole Manifest Morph thing? Did you, I, I'm not going to lie to you guys. I didn't like it. Gurmog Angler. He's a cool card. 
Uh, I'll be honest with you guys, I always thought the more thing did nothing for me. Siege, and nothing. Alright. Alright, alright, here we go. And Crucible of the Spirit Dragon. That was always a neat artwork, it was a cool little land, but... I'll be honest with you, it never found a place at home with a really top tier deck, so it never really got anywhere in the world. And Palace Siege, the black version of the Siege, and a beautiful, beautiful, uncommon fascination foil. Overall, not a bad, bad box, except for the fact we got no fetches. We need two fetches to make the box good. And rallying the ancestors with the caves. I, I haven't, like, skipped over a fetch or anything, have I? Like, I didn't, not like, okay, I was not, like, I feel like we should have had one by now. And I'm like, did I just not pay attention just assume it's the regular land? It's like, we need the fetch lands, everybody. Soul Flare, that was actually always, that was a pretty cool card. I remember selling all these for five bucks a piece at launch. I actually remember that. Four ninety nine on eBay. People were buying them up like crazy back then. Because that was a special time. And there we go, Storm's Fury. And there we go. There it is, kids. There it is, the Thunder Dome without the dome, just the thunder and dumb down under. Polluted Delta. Absolutely awesome. There is our cons. I just threw a booster pack. There is our fetch land, boys and girls. Look at that. She's like, yep, I gave it to you. There it is. We got ourselves our first cons fetch land. Alright, not bad, not bad. Revelation it was always a dollar card. Man, what a good pull. Polluted Delta. Man, that's what... Golly, that's great. That used to be the most expensive. That used to be almost 20 bucks when it came out. I'm sure it's not that high. Masters of the Uns... There was a time when this spiked from, like, bulk to, like, three, four dollars. There was, like, a weird deck somebody built around it. I have no idea the details. I cannot remember because it's been, like, years. But I specifically remember that was a really big deal. And, oh my god, what a good box! Soulfire Grandmaster, the other good white mythic. Those two were, oh my god. Holy smokes. If we hit a good old Ugin with another fetch, Citadel Siege, non-foil this time. Come on, Ugin and one more fetch, and it is a home run box, everybody. Come on. We gonna get it? We gonna get it? We might. We might get it. You never know. The Red Outpost Siege. Remember, there's a... Uh, a Siege Enchantment for each color, if anybody remembers that on there. None of them were ever super expensive, though. And there is, uh, and the Cruelty. And we got a Foil Cruelty token, Land, and Warden of the First Tree. It's our third Mythic. It's not looking good for uh, good old Ugin right now, but... You know, that Warden car, actually, that used to be pretty pricey. Pepperidge Farm remembers. And, God, these have a nice soft feel to it. These cards have a softer feel than the newer Japanese printers that are being used in the new sets. They have a stranger, stranger texture to them. And the Eternal, never worth much. Never, never worth much. All right, last stack. We're looking for an Ugin. It is possible to get a fourth Mythic. And we are looking for, of course, a second Shockland. Mob Rule, Tranquil Grove. I think we may get it, actually. I think there's a good chance. We may actually, we might pull it off. A Flame Rush Rider. That ain't gonna get us there. It's possible. I'm telling you all, it is actually possible. We may pull this off. Eh? Front Seer Siege. Foil, foil, foil. Lotus Path Common. That ain't gonna get us there. That is not gonna get us there, everybody. Alright, come on. We got this. We got this. Come on. Strike Leader. Ugh, that was always a bulk card. Come on. Come on. Stay focused, everybody. Stay focused. Don't give up. You never give up in this world, everybody. World Render, a Tark, very nice, very nice, that was a good rare back in the day. Remember that, no matter what, everybody, you stay the course. I don't care, you stay focused. Monastery Siege, Blue, ah, come on, come on. Second Shock, I mean, second Fetch Land, and come on, Ugin, come on. Either one at this point, I don't even need both. Ah, uh, well, Foil, and there is our Temporal Mistress, beautiful young lady, fourth Mythic. Ah, uh, that just ruined our Ugin chance. We got four Mythic Box. We're not going to get a fifth one. Tassigar, oh boy, he's back. The infamous Tass, a second foil rare. Rally the Ancestors. This is actually a pretty good box. Like, seriously, this is a really good box, you guys. Holy smokes, what a good opening. Wow. 
And last but not least, Archbound, and it looks like, unless we get a, a fetch land the last two packs, we're looking at a one fetch land box. Remember, average on Fate was only a two per box. Ah, Shin Yu Kung Fao Chicken. Oh, there it is! In the close, the windswept double fetch land. Epic box. Two foil rares, four mythics, two fetch lands, and a partridge and a rudy face. What a great ending. Absolutely great opening. Sorry there, um, uh, no Ugin, but you know what? What a good box opening. Wow. Yeah, I don't think, besides the Ugin, you couldn't have asked for a better box opening. That was a perfect run box besides the Ugin card. All right, here we go. We're going to make it. Stay focused, everybody. All we need now is Ugin. If we can get two more, I don't know, that for, that's going to be tough to beat. Holy smokes. The only way to beat that box is going to be to have an Ugin. There's no way. You had all the good mythics and two shock, two shocks, two fetches. Ugh. Mastery of the Unseen and Rail the Gate, Foil Mountain. I oh god, are we gonna be able to beat that first one, you guys? Uh, I I am very very. I lack the confidence right now that we're gonna be able to beat the first one. Monastery Siege. All right, here we go. And Frontier Siege. Here we go, here we go. Come on, here we go, folks. All right, and Cole against Storm Fury. Okay, okay. It's a little bit of a slower start, a little bit of a slower start. But don't want to don't give up too soon, everybody. Don't want to give up too soon. Okay, come on. Uncommon, uncommon. Palace Siege. Golly, we are getting all the Siege cards in these openings. That's crazy. I think the White Citadel Siege was the most... I think that was the most valuable sought after one when the set was uh, new. Dis... Really? Sorry. War it's like, really? Dismal... Sorry, I was off by uncommon. Warden of the First Trees, our first Mythic, and a Foil... Oh, just a Formless Common. Formless Nurturing Common. I was like, are we really going to get the exact same Mythics? I was like, we need an Ugin. Give us the Ugin. Remember, this is a small set, by the way. Supplement form. Wow, this is the same start we had in the other box. I remember the supplement form. That's a little creepy. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. And Citadel Siege again. Oh, Flooded Strand. Hiding in the back. She was sneaking up. Third cons fetch land. Ooh. Dude, I almost missed that one. Boy, they just slid. They just slide that in the back. You don't even feel it. Crux of Fate. God, I remember when that card spiked to five, ten dollars. Holy crap! I swear that was like a seven, eight dollar card on eBay. For, and I remember selling like four hundred of them. World War Ender. No, oh, I swear that's what it was. I can't remember the details, but that's what I thought it was. All right, come on, stay focused. We got this. We got this. Archfield of Depress. Uh, we don't got that. Come on, you beautiful young lady. Where are you? Where are you? Take us there. All right, here we go. Okay, come on, come on, stay. Dranmoka. God, I can't even remember how to pronounce these things. I have the worst at English pronunciation. Okay. It's like, come on, give us the goodies. Uh, Alicia smiles at death. You're just smiling because we're not getting anything on the second box. Where are all the goodies? Where's the good stuff? We're almost halfway there. Sage Eye, that's terrible again. We've got one Mythic, and we've got one Fetch Land, or at least we got a Khan's Fetch Land, but dude, where? We need some Mythic action, like the first box, man. All right, Soul Flayer again, Jungle, and a Scout. Like I said, that Soul Flayer, man, that used to be a $5 bill, everybody, back in the day. Hundreds of them popping out on the old eBay. Here we go, and Ghastly Conscription. That's not the Mythic we want. That's Mythic number two. Ugh. We want the Planeswalker, Ugin. Where's our Oogity Ugin? Come on, Scroll of the Masters. Terrible card, never did anything. I think nobody, I think it's this day. Four years later, I sold one out of 800 on eBay. Still on eBay, nobody wants that stupid scroll. Dromoka again. Okay. Well, that's not very useful. 
Alright, Fascination, Blot... God, why do I keep skipping? I'm so used to... Sandstorm, Master... God, Alp... Oh, there's the Foil Rare! God, that hollow... Look at that chrome symbol, you guys! That is epic looking! Alpo Siege! I think... What was our last foil? Wasn't our, uh, Citadel? Alright, so our rares are... Double Sieges. Well, there you go. Mob Rule! All right, here we go, here we go! All right, it's right to elite and the revelation, and we got a foil creepy Rudy Worm guy. That's not gonna get us anywhere. Um, all right, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I'm gonna start calling this. Uh, this box two is not looking good for anybody, period. I'm not, I do not share the confidence. Dragon Scale, Thorwood, a second, another foil rare, wow. Okay, four foil rares, two boxes. That's okay. That's actually really good. Uh, but overall, I'm, the second box is just not. We're not getting anywhere, you guys. We've got no good mythics. We got one. Hey, Tassigar. He was one of the heavy hitters back in the day. Remember Tassigar? Tassigar, Rudy's original Rudy brother. And by the way, that actually was for the longest time quite pricey, actually, from this set. I don't know if you guys even knew that or not. All right, Dragon Scale General Tranquil. Cloud form foil uncommon. Well, we're down to the last stack, everybody. And um, we've got one fetch land, and we've got like two blah mythics. You mean, golly. Phoenix again. We are in this box, too. We need an Ugin and a fetch land to save the day at this point. Otherwise, we're, we're just we're going to pound town. Can you take me to pound town? Oh, polluted delta number two from the cons fetchy. Four fetches, two polluted, a flooded, and a win. That is a great fetch land pool. All right, come on. All we need now is Ugin. Ugin for the close, boys. Ugin for the close. Crux of Faith. Look at the third one we've gotten of that card. All right. Everything comes down to Ugin. That's it. Got that stupid card in the back. I keep thinking we're getting it. We're getting it, boys. Mastery of the Unseen again. Okay, come on. Come on, Ugin. We need... Come on. We only got two Mythics in this box. Come on, baby. Give it to us. Just come on. Come on, come on, come on. Mob rule again. Foil? Oh, God, that was a foil fetch land. Then I realized you can't get foil fetch lands. Remember that, everybody. You can get cons fetch lands in Fate Reforged, but you cannot. You cannot get a foil fetch land in Fate Reforged. Do not underestimate that. Palace Siege. A lot of people forget that. Remember, you cannot get foil fetches. You can only get regular fetches in Fate Reforged. I know it's kind of creepy sounding. Wild Call. Oh, come on. We're down to the last few packs. Come on, baby. We gotta get there. Come on, come on. We gotta get there. We gotta get there. Come on, baby. Get us there. Get us there. And... Ah, Infiltrator. That's terrible. Come on. Four packs left. We gotta get there, everybody. Come on. Here we go. Come on. We gotta get it, you guys. We gotta get it! Ah! Rally the Incest. That's terrible again! Oh, God. Oh, God. We only got two packs left. Come on, Ugin. Where are you hiding? Ugin! Whisper what elemental! Oh no, that's our third mythic? We only got two packs left! We've only got two packs! Oh no, we got the elemental! That was worth money at one point in time. And Dragon Claw! Oh no, the last pack! Oh god, the last pack! This is it! Oh my god, please! Ugin for the close! Ugin for the close, everybody! Ugin for the... <sighs> Didn't happen. But, four fetch lands, seven mythics, four foil rares. Overall, not a dumpster fire. Box one, probably about an eight out of ten. Would have been a town of ten with an Ugin. Box two, five out of ten. We got killed. We got just we got destroyed, you guys, in the mythics. But the, the fetches pretty much held the value. All right, thank you all, everybody. Thank you all the support. Thank you for Mr. G from Canada. Thank you for everybody. Have a splendid day.